Well, hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to OLC TV for some more A World Betrayed DLC for Total War 3 Kingdoms as Kongrong with the Make Me Unique mod enabled. <clears throat> so, in the last episode, um, we started to advance further into uh, what is this? Zhu Fu's territory, taking Wu Ling, a uh, rice paddy here. Now, Kongrong is very, very isolated. We do have a support army on its way, um, but I think... She's going to have to cross the river down here and take this livestock farm out and then march on the toolmaker. Uh, so Kong Long's going to be on his own. We'll see how that plays out for him um, because his army isn't very good. Uh, over here, we have Mayun Lu advancing to Ba and then Shenyong just to finish off the conquest of that. We had quite a bloody battle here between Sima Yi and uh, Xu Huang. Um, Xu Huang just butchered my soldiers, smashed Wen Chou into oblivion. It was tough. Um, but... We won. We smashed his army. This is all that's left of it. Um, <clears throat> so we're in a pretty good position, but we had to fall back because Lady Bian is here with an army. However, we have Xun Yeo coming back, and then we have here uh, Cao Zhang with... He's going to end up fighting his mother, probably. Um, who only needs a couple of turns before his army is in good nick. We're running out of money very, very fast. We have a rebellion over here in Yingchuan, but... Um, We'll be solving that eventually. We're building these things. That should solve our issues of public order. Um, and Taojo should be able to hold on his own, which is why I haven't moved back this army here. He's still knocking about because we're not sure how our boy here is uh, going to feel in the future. Um, we'll see. And then Liu Bei. Yeah, Liu Bei is building back up, which is quite nice. All right. Let's get into the next turn. <clears throat> So, where are you going to move to? Doesn't seem like there was that much aggression there from um, Liu Biao at all. Zhu Fu is an interesting one as well because Kong Rong, like I said, is on his own. Zhu Fu kicks up a massive army. Kong Rong could potentially be in trouble and that could change my plans up. I wanted to split the armies up just for quicker conquest. Um, this is actually, I know we haven't had a huge amount of episodes, but as far as turn count goes, this is already the longest, uh, game I've played on Total War, uh, Three Kingdoms on any DLC. <clears throat> and I find this DLC to be faster in general than the others. Here we go. Here we go. You saw that. Lady Bian came up into ambush position and this chap's moved here. They're coming back to attack us. Right. That's fun. Han Sui has joined the war. No problem. No problem at all. Character developments. When Cholt is ready for duty, spy events. He still hasn't been hired. We need to raise another army. Um, and I'm going to raise another army up here. Because we can then um, attack Han Sui. So, here we are in the livestock farm. Let's raise an army, and I think we want Kong Hong, because he's our boy and heir. Then, to support, let's bring out Cao Shuang. And we need a strategist, but I don't have the money for those strategists. That's fine. So these chaps have come out. Um, what we want to do is shift him sort of over here ish he can sit there and he can throw himself into uh ambush mode you can sit there for now um with spare money you can get this with anything so we need some saber infantry really um i'm going to change that cav to something else later i'm going to change these boys to something else later i just don't have the money yet um so that will resolve itself um, here we're going to go straight into this farmland and just take it. <coughs> I lose completely within our capabilities to smash this place to bits. Done. Everybody's friendly. We've got some kindred Jian. That's not bad. Extra ranks gained. So, you've gone up in the world. That's fantastic. Now, the kindred Jian I would normally give to you as you've been fighting for a while and you need something, but. He has no weapons. So um, have these. Feel entitled. Um, 
Don't feel happy that you got it for, as a freebie. Just feel entitled. Uh, right. Hmm. You know we got Lady Bian coming. Okay, so... We're going to shift in this manner. We want you to shift here. We'll put you in ambush mode. You're going to shift back into the city <clears throat> to replenish. I think we shall shift you here and again into ambush mode. So hopefully we'll be suckering their armies into two fights that will destroy them um, before we do anything else. You, my lady. Uh, this way, really quickly, please. You're almost there at the border. Yeah, almost there. We can see a little bit, I guess. Just a little bit. Okay. Right, she. Uh, you've actually got some quite good stuff going on. Let's have a look. Ying Chuan, Ying Chuan, peasantry. And she is all about the peasantry. Ying Chuan also is pretty solid commerce. So go in there. We don't need pop growth. So you can go in there. That should uh, help stuff out in general. I think we can have a quick check of the old family tree as well. How far away is Kong Chi? Kong Chi's almost there. You're a little way away. All right. That's fine. Got well, no one for you to marry, unfortunately. Um. says they're relatives but you can't actually see them where is uh, our boy Xiao <clears throat> relations Yao Chan yeah I don't know how to check his um family tree it just says he's part of the ruling family I'm not quite sure how part of a ruling family but which one I don't know anyway none of that matters They've all set themselves up there. We've got this border now defending in case Han Sui gets interested. Uh, they will eventually attack, which is fine. We're in position here. Then the question is, Kong Rong, what do we do with you? <clears throat> you have two turns. Um, I guess we advance down here. Just so we can get a good look about what's going on. Looks like the city isn't really defended. That's not bad. We've got a toolmaker to take out, which we'll have to take back out by swinging round. But we might be able to wipe out Zhu Fu very, very quickly, because that just leaves him fooling town. This is Tong Wu. Did I? That's a good shout, actually. Thank you, Yan. Wang Lang, where are you attacking? Uh, negotiate. Wang Lang, negotiate war coordination. Would you like to avail yourself of this city, please? Uh, you, my man. War coordination, select target. Deal with them for me. There's a good boy. Uh, the Gongoli is doing his bit, so that's not a problem. Can I raise any money through any other means? She is really light on cash. Shame she's at war with King of War. Um hmm. How much money can you give me? Seems all right. I might be able to get a couple of. Can we do one more. Do one more. Not quite. All right, we'll do that. All right, we're going to do that, and then that's going to mean we've got more money here for our lad. Now I'm going to spend it on switching you out for something useful. There we go. How much spare? Nine hundred. Not really enough for anything else. Yeah. Uh, just get another spear unit then. And we'll leave it at that. For now. 
and then we're going to launch the evasion against Hansway as soon as we possibly can. See what happens next turn. I'm starting to get to the stage where my economy is going to tank because I've got too many armies, and because when you're uh, Kong Rong having armies affects your trade influence hugely. We don't want it's Gongsun Zan taking territory, really. Because if I can take all of that, was it Wu Wei territory? Then I'll be just north of his capital and I'll be able to jump straight down and hit him with the armies there. Um, when it comes to it, us having to be at war with him, because of course he is another kingdom. Kung's army is on the move. Nowhere near where it needs to be because it's bloody miles away. Ambush succeeded. Sweet. Uh, quick save. Um. Do you know what? We'll fight this one. This one looks a lot of fun. We're going to fight this one. Completely outnumbering, but reinforcements take a minute to get in. So, yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's have a look at this. So, got reinforcements coming in. They're going to take a minute to get here. Got a ton of archers down here. He's got a lot of. All right. Alrighty. Shove you here. And shove you guys here. All right. Pin them in. Xiliang cavalry. Think one there, one there. Axes can rush headlong in here. Um, mm, yeah, swords, swords, swords. I'm happy with the swords being there. You are not a fighter, I remember. Axes there are not all that necessary. We'll throw you boys in here. Archers are there. You can be here, and it's a question of if that's the best use of my cavalry, and it most certainly is not. Um, chuck here, you chuck here, you guys can be in reserve. Uh, archer, archer, you'll fling everything you got. Okay, let's start the battle. Go. 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 Advance up and box decline. We are not fighting that battle. Advance up, charge, charge, charge. Form, advance, advance. Come on, there we go. Charge forward, everybody charge forward. Go, 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 go. Rain hellfire onto them. Uh, Spearwolf, go. Spearwolf, and go. You're going to get ripped apart by those axes, but that doesn't matter. Here we are. Come up here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's put some regular speed now. I don't like the fact that when you're in an ambush, you can't give your initial orders as the ambusher. I'm guessing it might make things too powerful. I don't know. Uh, right, advance up here. Smash them. Good. Smashed. Into that fight. You chaps. Saber infantry. Uh, break the shield wall and come down here into a line here. You boys, you don't need to be in that formation anymore. Charge. You chaps as well don't need to be in that formation anymore. You can rush up here. Um, you. Go chase. You. Get in there. Take guard off. Uh, yeah. Smash, smash, smash. Smash. Lots of smashing. Okay, that's all that done. How are you guys down here? You're all good. Right. Advance right up here. Archers, you too. Go, 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 go. Charge. Come on. In them. You boys. 
none of this nonsense. Chase them, destroy them. Spears, go help. <coughs> you Spears. Let's go in here. It's got John, you go in here. A lot of them are trying to run. Which is fine. Come on, you get in there. In. Right, reform here. Axes, I want you to reform here. Spears, I want you all the way up. It's fine, let them run. Oh, they're allowed to run. They're allowed to run. They'll be back eventually. Go on, get in. Get stuck in. Kill. You're butchering them. Where are you? Hey, okay, you're over here. Good. Go kill. You boys. I think. Go kill. Don't give up the chase. You boys, go kill. You lads. Over here. Um, form. Axes in. Swords, go kill. Swords, go kill. Go, 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 go. Chase them, chase them, chase them. Go. <coughs> Spears, into that fight there. Ah, some of you arrived. Here we your cav, buddy. Chase, chase, chase. Oh, shit, they crushed straight into them. Tell me they weren't formed. Oh, they were quite formed. That's a shame. That's a real shame. That was an accident. Sorry. Get over here, you boys. Get over there. Smye. None of this, none of this. Chase, 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 chase. We're destroying this army. Wen Cho. Uh, what are you? No guard line. Go, 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 go. Kill. Um. Cav. Go. Heavies. Chase them. Very nice. Should have killed quite a lot there. <clears throat> All about doing damage to their armies. Oh, they still got 1600 away. That's a real shame. Damn it. Machida did an absolutely monstrous job though. So we only lost 500 men. That's all right. Oh, got some armor. That's even better. I need armor for my people. I don't have much of anything. So Lady Bian is still not close enough. That means we can gang up. King of Chu embraced by Xia into their empire. Hmm. Master's leather. Friends, friends, friends. Blah, blah, blah. Traits gained. Trustworthy and trusting. Allies mobilizing, which is great to see. Uh, okay. Here. That's useful. Now this thing, what does it do? Minus three speed, minus three melee attack rate, but it does everything else. So you can wear that. You need to get your weapon, but you could now potentially fight, which is important. Um, right. You're advancing on the weapon craftsman. Here in our territory for now. You're going to chase him. <clears throat> going to wipe out armies where we can. We don't want to give them time to replenish. We just simply don't have enough soldiers. And certainly our soldiers are just not very good. So the more we push, the better it'll be. He's loyal. He's never going to join me, but we can be nice to him. We've taken him out there. Uh, you can start to head back. What do we get ancillaries? We got a stone archer. How disappointing. Penetrance gain. Xunwei has gone up. Xunwei, you are... You are becoming a rare talent. You, you, you've you done well with uh, Jia Xu's forces there. Now. Go. <clears throat> Finish him off. Delegate. 
Sumi Shu Huang round two. Sumi wins, hands down. Nice shiny sword. And we have Shu Huang. That's why we release generals. This is a massive win. We've got a war blade there. Well, that. I know we can't deploy Shu Huang right now. <clears throat> but what does he have? Oh, he's got his axe. Good. That's all that matters is that he has his shiny axe. No horses or anything to give him. Would you like a title? Probably, but I don't have the money. Um, right. <clears throat> you don't need anything. I think this army could do with a little bit of boosting. You can have that sword. Now we have a duelist. Right. Hmm. I think we can destroy this force on our own. <clears throat> yep, we could. Therefore, they have fallen back. You drop into that, you come over here. Uh, no, do you know what? No, 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 no. Come on. Come close, supporting each other. I'm not going to fight them in the field like that. That's fine. Um, pop in one of these. You're ready to attack Shang Yong. Now. Jiu Fu. What do you have for me down here? <coughs> Excuse me. We're advancing deep into his territory. And it's been pretty much unopposed. Um, we'll just take another farmland. Done. Celebratory dance. A treasure. A runner arrives from the new settlement with a heavy box strapped to his crooked back. Panting heavily, a breathless man slams down his bulky consignment down your feet. It is a loot chest with its lock broken open, filled to the brim with jewels and precious trinkets of considerable value. Sweet. 500 gold. Um, meditation, very useful. Now, Rage of Lu Ji, all day, every day. That'll work. Wuling City, <coughs> we'll advance. This should be, yeah. We'll take it. Very nice. Facts of Elements, Occupation. Uh, we do not need you. Go away. Okie dokie. Well, that's all been taken really rather quickly. Quite impressed with that. Got nothing else happening anywhere else. But we have the ability to flesh out our army somewhat over here. What do you need? Let's get some um, Sabre Cav. I think you could do with some of this. <clears throat> Tell you what we could also do with. Tui Yan. You have not been called upon to serve your country. So come join us. Uh, we'll get you some archers. I'm going to get you some archers. We're actually going to give them archers as well because this is our noble lord Kong Hong's army. He has crossbowmen. High tiered crossbows. As a temptation. Then we give him another set of crossbows. And then he'd have one of these. That army is now ready. I think we can just straight across now, see what's coming. And Anya, she's alright, but that army is drivel. So not overly worried. We've spent all of our money, our economy is going in the toilet, but once we've conquered some territory, we'll be absolutely fine. Come at me, Lu Biao. Come at me, Lu Zhang. Come at me, Ju Fu. Let's see what you got. Because I am actually really surprised at how easy this has been. <clears throat> His army's all in the wrong place when they came at us. He just wasn't formed up and ready. Liu Zhang, I was slightly disappointed with. He does have armies. He is there, but he didn't actually make a stand where he needed to strategically to stand a chance. Um, if he'd made the stand just outside of Bashi, 
it would have been very hard for me to break through with my forces. I would have had to have been quite clever and quite lucky. But, uh, yeah, he, he, he completely cocked up. Completely cocked up. Pulled his people back. And Lu Biao has only sent, like, one army after the other at me. He's not had combined forces. <clears throat> uh, I'm afraid I can't do that. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, you can cross and see if you want to fight Kong Hong. I'm fine with that. I'll go take your farmland with my other army. Here's Jufu. Li Bian's falling back. Alright, he's combined his armies there. Means Tao Jiang's going to need to come across. Right. Ah, Xinyo has a daughter. Spectacular. Kong Rong and Lady True. Brilliant. Xu Ta has died. That's a shame. That's a shame. Um, right, noble birth. Yes, relationship with lost friends. And of course, Xu Huang is ready for duty, spy events. Army carrier Zhao Du has gone up. Right. So, Zhao Du, you're the administrator of Donglai. Um, I don't know what Donglai has in it as far as industry goes. Let's uh, have a look. Where's Donglai? Donglai doesn't make anything from industry, so that is of zero use whatsoever. So let's do this, just so you can fight better. You're not realistically leaving the place, so... Xu Huang, you don't really want to send Xu Huang on assignment, but we don't have money for him right now. So let's... um. Well, Say so Beihai, I think Beihai, just do do some work there for a, for a few turns and then we'll bring you out to fight. Because I have tanked my economy ever so slightly. Um, okay, what we got? We got Wuwei Farmland, let's go take the farmland. This is quite a nice army as well. Um, we're not really going to see it this time because I don't see the point of finding this, but Lady True... Uh, Zhang He, who I love, and then we've got Zhang Shun, who was the commander of um, Yuan Shu's armies. He wasn't overly successful, I should say, because um, of course Yuan Shu wasn't overly successful. Still, dignified raiment and a guard. Well. Well, well, well. Spearhead. Do that. Now. Dignified Raymond, come here. Present for you. Guard is instinct. Do we have a chat? We do. Don't. Go on. Have an axe. Right. You're going to sit there. That army's all right. You'll be able to defend against that. We have now got money coming back in. Uh, yeah. Um, administration, just in case someone dies, because they're all getting of that age. Right. Now, I don't want to swing all the way around there, so let's go back this way. I... They're blocking that path. Let's go south into Chengdu. Chengdu's open. Let's not fight a war we, we're not necessarily going to win straight up. Shenyang weapons craftsman, manual. Valiant defeat, eh? Why? Because they have a lot of fighting troops with shields. Um... Interesting. Night battle is not going to change anything. A night battle is going to give us a Pyrrhic victory, apparently.
They just have a lot of cavalry. I mean, it doesn't matter. Just delegate it. We're going to win anyway. <coughs> we'll lose some troops. Fine. Um, occupy. We now have a weapons button, which is the important thing. She can be in there and replenish over a few turns. That's good for me. Uh, Wu Ling. We have a Confucian temple here, which is nice. Do with uh, anti corruption, actually. You, my lady. Go. Go. Kill. Smash them. What do we get? We got a stone archer. How dull. You're age 22. You're rank 4, but you're not legendary. Philanthropic, formidable, one eyed. You're quite good, even though you're not legendary. I'll take you. Keep on advancing. Tempered iron skin. Don't want that. Don't want that at all. Um, right, we've recruited her. We are short of cash. But that's fine. The more we conquer, the more cash we will gain. So I'm not overly worried. Um, could defeat that army. We could head to fooling. I mean, we'll defeat the army. Oh, we're not quite in range of the army. Fine then. We're not quite in range of the army. Let's head over here then. Head over here. We'll see what's in Fuling. Nothing's in Fuling. We'll be able to advance on it next turn. They'll be back next turn. Good. Yeah, I mean, Lu Biao is quite peaceful, I guess. He just didn't spend the money on his armies. But then how did he take that bloody... Did he trade for it? Or did he go to war with Lu Zhang? I can't remember. I thought Lu Zhang was his vassal. And then Liu Zhang suddenly became emperor. And then he took it from Liu Zhang. Ooh, very strange. Not sure what happened at all. Yeah, Liu, Bei has, Liu Bei has some proper armies. Um, I need to keep him on side when we go for Gongsun Zan, really. You and Sui will sign peace with us, will he? Let's... Eh. Project. Bring it. Bring it. Come on. Well done, Gongsun. Kung. Wish you'd die so that your son can take over and will be a lot easier to control you. Go for Jufu here, and we'll go from there, and I'll have him wiped out. Ah, Tao Zhang has a, a daughter. Brilliant. All coordination buildings, but character developments. Yeah, and you has appeared. Some fool. Well, not overly fast. Let's go for fooling. Just take it. All done. I was fooling now. Fooling's all right, actually. Good food production. We'll throw in one of those. You can end her life. Nice. Daddy's imitation spear through her chest. That's a chunk of cash from such a small force, actually. Um, good. All good. Now we'll head here and we'll take that really rather quickly, hopefully. It can take a couple of turns to get there, but um, should do it. And we're leaving Tao Zhang here, I think, to defend. Uh, we want those two armies to stay put, ideally. Um, so, shift forward. You attack. 
Easy. Nice. Farmland taken would be assassin. While establishing control of the newly occupied town, one of your officials is set upon by a particularly burly local. The attacker is a bona fide warrior, but the targeted official is also he's not an ex-soldier, he's one of my top generals. Aptly skilled in combat himself, of course, he's a pissing champion. After a spectacular duel, the assailant is, a certain, is eventually subdued and detained. Good. So he's gained expert's leather. Uh, you have better. You have better. Um, what about in this army? What do we have? Young Song, here. Have some armor. Nothing doing for the rest of it, I'm afraid. Do you know what? Would you like a stone archer? Not really your thing, but, you know, you're actually really good at it. There. Very nice. Uh, now, Jatong. So old. Such a shame. Been so good. Anyway, with that now dealt with, I'm going to shift you here. And basically, invite them to come along. You're going to stand here as a threat. If they want to move their armies over, which they can't reach, so it's no real problem, you're going to stand there as a threat to them. That's all good. On this side, Who do you owe your allegiance to? Nobody. You're a war with lots of my friends. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I don't think Zhang Yan and people are going to make it down here in time to take territory, unfortunately. Um, but, we shall find out. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, time is up for this episode. I'm going to leave it here. Next time, we're going to have a look at these armies up in the northwest and how we continue to attack Han Sui. I understand uh, Kong Hong is going to earn his stripes in this battle here. And uh, Jiang Xun is going to advance further into Wu Wei. But that'll have to wait next time. Also, we've got a reform. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much for joining me. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time for more Total War. Bye-bye.